Hello then, welcome back to Dumbapax Technocracy. Last time we uh, explored a little bit. I'm back, by the way. I completely forgot about that part. But uh, as I said last time, I'm going to continue basically uh, growing or building up all that has ended up within our borders now. That I built two more uh, frontier outposts to, well, help myself out. But uh, soon one of them will probably be. Uh, useless, most likely the Tapcan one, so we'll probably dismantle that one soon enough. We found another automated shipyard. We Situation found this one uh, before, so it's not really that interesting, but uh, we'll uh, examine that one later. It was basically, that was basically all I needed to inform you about. Menchalib has research stations that can be built, we're going to do that, and we're also going to build the research station here once we're done with those. So, as I said last time, I'm going to just uh, leave everything running. I'll uh, wait until that tech. I've actually learned to check techs now, so that I don't come back to you just five seconds later because we completed a tech. But uh, basically, I'll probably just leave everything running for close to a year. Anomaly found. Camille? Hello? Research. I was missing one point, are you kidding? Translate alien moral. So we're getting some things that we need to do. So I might just keep you guys occupied for a little bit longer. Robotic army and droids. It's an upgrade to robots, basically. Do I have anything else here of interest? I don't think so. I think we might as well just go with the robotic army. Or upgrade to the coil gun. Let's just get droids. Seems like a decent tech. Let's see, James Cook found a couple of things that we need to work with. Let's see, James Cook can do that, and then James Cook can do the other one too. They're actually both in the same place, it looks like, which is decent. So let's just get those done. Uh, I'll pop back in once we get the results, but until then I will uh, take a quick break. There we go, the upgrades are coming along nicely, as you can see. Um, in terms of interesting things, we found the Elegant Moral. I'm believing that we're working on that. The shipyard that we found, that was earlier. It was basically the exact same thing as before. We got uh, a new uh, frigate, as it was called. Which is a decent thing to have, but uh, not anything that is, well, ridiculously vital or anything like that. But what we will do, I guess, is upgrade our... Uh, things again because we do have the cruiser unlocked uh, and again we, have, we can pick between two things too small too medium too medium or just one large So I guess we'll go with uh, Two medium in the beginning here. We can go with two smalls to medium uh, Too small one uh, Huge I guess or three mediums. We're just going to go with three mediums there too And I guess we'll go with two small ones in the end So with this again, we have some more choices now. We have iron disruptors which, as you can see here, do 100% shield damage. So let's place a couple of those in the front. We have mass drivers and auto cannons. Auto cannons could probably be a little bit useful. We'll place a couple of those in the back there. And then we place uh, some regular laces in the middle. And again, these do plus 50 armor penetration. So we have shield destroyers in front, uh, armor penetration here, and just regular kinetics in the middle. Now, in terms of what we want here, it's uh, a little bit hit and miss. So, let's just place a couple of collectors first and foremost. Then we need to power these things. As you can see, we have seven power to go on. But we also need engines and these other abilities. This is just a wormhole. This one will be the same for everything, except if you're in a federation, you can pick uh, tech from the federation, uh, all members of them, to use. Defensive computers give you plus 10 to the ship's hull points, which would be 120 in this case, and also 10% chance to evade. We are going to go with the aggressive one, which gives fire rate plus 10%, and weapons damage plus 10%. Well, in this case, it might actually be worth it to pick the defensive one. The plasma thrusters, more speed and chance to evade. And ship-mounted sensors, basically just longer sensor range. So if we snap that one down there, in the large one, and then plays Flex and small and medium, we end up with a perfect hundred. So that works out pretty decently. It's a good or build. We have uh, powerful shields. So let's just save that design as the standard one. 
as I said later on, we're going to add more uh, focus designs, but uh, that one will do its job. Now, the Corvette. I'm very tempted to use the Corvette because we're going to start running into shields. Let's just uh, clear the design and autocomplete ship and see what we come up with. Animator generators for basically everything. But I'm tempted to place a disruptor, two disruptors, to just help doing damage to the shields that we're going to run across. Sorry, iron disruptors. What am I doing? Did I put regular disruptors on the other one? If I did, I'm an idiot. But uh, we'll figure out if I'm an idiot or not later. Let's see, can I place another improved effector? No, it's just too expensive. We can just place a regular fission reactor though. You just need this to go zero. That's all you need. There we go. And lastly, we need to build the destroyer. I think we're just going to do the easy thing and slap a couple of disruptors on it to just solve our problems. Uh, right now, it's just uh, a little bit helpful to destroy sh uh, the, uh, the shields of ships, mostly. I need to check the cruise one, though. I did put it on the iron. Yes, I did. So let's go to Max Prime here, and we're going to build a cruiser. Let's get enough uh, cash for it, I guess, which is going to take a little while complete. with everything that we're currently building. So uh, it's uh, a little bit awkward. But our research is complete now, and the border range increases. I don't think it has happened just yet. Let's just wait and see. If it has anomaly happened, it was found. very little. We found an anomaly. It has actually happened, sadly, but uh, it's going to keep on increasing ever so slowly. This one actually just fell into our border, so that's nice. And we almost got regulars too, so the border increase did indeed happen. And we just need to keep on researching that to get uh, longer borders. So we got better shields too, which means I, should, uh, I need to go back and revisit my... Uh, shield tax because or revisit my uh, my ships because that's awkward plasma trouble 100% armor penetration face disruptor it's an upgraded uh, iron cannon basically I think we'll upgrade advanced combat rolls it's a, basically more or less a free upgrade core sector planets this is the thing you can get do that uh, quite a few times just uh, upgrade your things fleet academy ship modifiers chance to evade weapons damage uh, I'll attempt to build that one and slap it onto our things. Slap it onto the uh, shipbuilder uh, base that we're building on Tennis. It's not completely complete, we need the fifth one, and then we need to start just slapping on uh, the uh, engineering bay, among other things. Observatory is a plan modifier, so we don't need that. But engineering bay would definitely be nice to just build, so let's just get that out of the way, actually. New ship, so it took off <laughs> took the name of the uh, first one so let's just call this Bax Bax first making it simple easier and if I were to upgrade now it would cost me 189 which isn't much but uh, let's see here did I actually get the shields let's see the thing is the thing is balanced right now but I think the shields to the equation is definitely going to make some problems Medium. Is it enough to put that in a small one? Uh, medium requires 15 power, 20 power. So I can do that. So you can see uh, the uh, stats is mostly the same, but we have increased our shields by 225. So we need to just upgrade the shields on everything. Uh, the power, though, is not going to be a problem on this one because I'm using a. Uh, cheaper module. As you can see, the small animal reactor costs 20, but this one costs 5. So it's just a cheaper module to sort things out. Let's just slap a fusion reactor on that, and boom, we're done. Nice, and then we need to upgrade the destroyer as well. Same principle. Slap on shields. Produces 25 for a small one. Just slap an extra one on there, and boom, shields have been Upgraded and for some reason we zoomed all the way out on the galaxy map So with this the upgrade costs are going to be tremendous, but uh, I think it will be worth it. So let's just do that and We're currently also still just upgrading the area and I'm going to keep on doing that. We have a lot of uh, things to upgrade. We started uh, Gas grazers no danger at all. We started basically serving this area and we're also service serving here I'm very tempted to set up another forwards uh, outpost here because there's some tech in the area and also the uh, dogs 
I have no idea what I can use them for, but I'll figure that out as time goes by. So we'll keep on, uh, we'll keep on researching and see what we uh, what we find. This is an interesting one. We found a league cruiser. The bow section of an ancient first cruiser has been discovered orbiting IOLM two. There is insufficient debris nearby to account for the rest of the ship, but what little remains is in very poor condition. The hole's been real with hole from a pit to be last mass driver projectiles. Interesting. Situation log so updated. we just got a special project. Uh, for I guess the first league. There are the cruiser, it's available, as you can see. So science ship is here. Do you have a lot of things to do? No. Okay, you do actually have a lot of things to do, but just let's let's just survey the system or do the thing, then survey the system, and then we'll see what we find. Hmm. Uh, I haven't actually explained it yet, but Nebula, I think that uh, as you can see here, uh, it gives a 30% travel penalty, travel speed penalty to ships in stellar flight, which means that it's uh, basically just a slow down, you're trying driving too fast thing, which is a little bit annoying, but I have no idea if it works in Wilhelm Tech, because we basically just jump over the nebula. It's not actually a joke anymore, we do with the current tanks, so uh, it could be that it actually works. For now, however, uh, we'll just wait for the science ship here to finish the... Uh, nope. Translates to AV Mural. Complete. This one is supposed to be... Research complete. Well, we'll figure out what it's doing later. Complete. Uh, we can now build a robotic army. It requires you to have a droid on the planet to actually build it, but it's a decent one. Let's see here, we could get space torpedoes, the Ripper auto cannon, basic uh, fighter wing, which is basically extra ships. You can place it on a huge component. So it's a carrier. Do we want carriers? I think we do. So let's just research carriers. Could be a fun little thing to have. And construction ships are done with their orders. I ended up uh, getting some minerals here because we do. There was uh, a four and a three, which is kind of rare. Do we have a four and a three here too? No, but we have a four. So I'm going to keep on building mining stations around uh, the four gains, which isn't pretty nice. And here we have some more tech that we can get. So this is just inside our borders now, which is nice. But uh, the fan, the uh, first league system, it didn't actually have anything of value in it except for the first league artifact. So. Uh, well, not really much I can do about that, but uh, we have it. We have it at least uh, uh, explored now. So sorry about uh, leaving that out for so long. I know I would be pissed if I watched something like that, or at least uh, slightly annoyed. But uh, it's been fixed now, so it should be fine. I completely forgot about this though. But we can upgrade to a planetary administration. I have no idea if it will actually help any uh, in terms of how much of an area you can watch. I have no idea. But uh, we'll figure that out later. Science ship. Did I build the Frontier Clinic on Thanos? No, I did not. That is a blunder. It uh, gives a lot of food, most more than you can usually get, but it also gives you habitability plus 5%. So it's a decent building. Let's just place you there. It'll come up that you're unemployed, but that's fine. Now, the science ship here. I haven't found anything of value. What I'm hoping is that once we've uh, surveyed the entire area, we'll find a planet to colonize or something like that, just on the other side of the brink. But there's very few systems here, as you can see. That's a black hole, which uh, usually has a decent amount of special science nearby. Complete. So the special project has been completed. We partially managed to translate the alien mural discovered on the SH2. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural had been dated to be in excess of 3 million years old, it is likely that its creators are all extinct by now. Perhaps most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its old age, it's of uh, remarkably good condition. So I get experience and research, which is basically what most of these things will be giving you. Which is not something to be scoffing at. I'm very tempted to just survey the other side of these guys, because if I find a habitable system here, I'm going to jump on it. Just to lock them in. Let's see, we found a first league artifact, get some research. The archaeological expedition of the first, oh sorry, to the first league cruiser orbiting ILM-2 has returned. Little of use could be found on the ruined vessel, but archaeologists did manage to recover its crew manifest. 
They firstly call upon all of his member worlds to staff the Grand Navy, the Joint Star Fleet, and through the manifest we have learned that the crew of this particular cruiser was made up of individuals from 12 different species. An interesting find. Hmm. This will soon be within our borders, hopefully. But yeah, I, again, I'm very tempted to try and do something in terms of building a forward uh, operation post here. We have maximum cash again, which is fine. System surveyed, order finished, construction ship. What are you doing? Nothing. Let's see, do you have anything that we need to actually take control of? Taking the Vitharian stone could definitely be useful, but not something that will be a focus right now. Now, we can probably get rid of the Dav Can outpost. And I think I will. It'll give me more uh, uh, influence, which is good. But let's just disband the outpost and see what happens to our borders. Because I don't think that should have too much of an effect. It actually did have a pretty damn large effect. As you can see here, uh, Missar fell out. Which is not good. And what I really want to do is just build a frontier outpost here. There's a tiny bit of tech, but there's also the civilization here we can research. And it will work good in that way. Kind of sad though that Missar fell with the outside of our borders. Not really much I can do about that right now though. Uh, let's just build a research station there. So as you can see, the having two systems close to each other, or two of these things, will work pretty well. But I thought it would just close it mostly on this side. I thought the midship would be more than enough to actually keep it uh, keep it under control. Sadly, not. Fail risk, 12%. Uh, Look, faint transmission coming deep inside the gut. Giant. Have we found more? Uh, what's their name? I can't remember, but let's just research that one and see research what happens. Complete. Uh, fleet Academy, Grand Fleet, Naval Capacity, Tile Blocker, Biolab. Uh, let's just get the Tile Blocker. I do really want to Navy research too, but let's face it, at this point, I need to actually build up my Navy before doing anything more with that. Hmm. Ships upgraded. Construction. Ships have been upgraded, 1700 now. System Decent. Complete. But I am tempted to build another frontier outpost here. But let's just go here because there were some uh, annoying things to destroy. Gas giant signal. We should investigate signal. It's basically the exact same thing as we got earlier with the other species. Did we find a secondary species now to wage war? <laughs> to have them wage war on the other ones? Because that would be interesting and kind of weird. Okay, so you are down here. Let's just research that project. Survey the system, and then we'll survey these two systems as well. Let's see, construction ship is bored. I should send you to Sido for now. Because we don't really have anything else here that we need to build at the current moment. I should probably just build a lot more of those frontier stations everywhere to just increase my influence. But uh, right now we're not really doing that. So, spaceport. Fleet Academy, ship modifier, we want that. And again, I did want to try and build one cruiser, but <laughs> we just keep on finding things that will not allow that. So let's just wait one more month. Uh, again, this is just a slow little mining endeavor, so easily destroyed, easily handled. And we're going to build our first cruiser. Let's see, there we have the first fleet. We're going to send it back home to orbit because it will make, it'll basically mean that it costs less to maintain it by just having it orbit the prime because of the modifier that we placed in uh, on the station, which is decent. We're finding some interesting things down here. This is a decent system for science. How are you doing on the surface in terms of uh, building, or oh, sorry, expanding? Pretty decently. Let's get rid of that jungle. Get rid of the toxic kelp. Now, Thinnis, how are you doing? Are you ready to... We can upgrade these food things. Which we will. Just upgrade the hydroponic farm. We're going to upgrade the other hydroponic Special farms too. Complete. We found another race. The Datnak. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Situation sure, we will help you. Let's see. 
I haven't actually surveyed the system. Yeah, we have more to do down south here than we have in the north, so... Having two science ships there, and just one here, should be good enough. Hmm. I'm pretty seeing some interesting conundrums there, or annoyances, if you will. We're just going to upgrade this. There's currently being built a frontier clinic here, and we're going to just have to... Research build other things. Complete. Science labs are going to be built where we can, but I'm also going to start focusing on getting the uh, power up and running, because that's definitely be helpful as well. Tire block has been finished. Uh, leader size? Leader pool size. Sounds very interesting. Leader capacity? So, this is funny. This gives a lot more better stuff, but it costs more... Oh, sorry, it costs less than this one. It gives only one. So yeah, we're going to take the living state. It's a decent uh, thing to get. System survey complete. So as of now, I'm a little bit unsure what to do. We're just going to keep on surveying. Uh, I'll do the relocation thing. If the same event pops up, if I'm just going to leave it as is. I find it interesting that we haven't actually informed them that uh, we found the friends. Space amoebas. Okay, space amoebas forever. We're going to deal with those. And I need to figure out which science ship actually just ran off. But uh, as things are here, I think I can safely build an outpost here. Just build a frontier outpost because uh, first of all, we'll get a decent amount of science from it. Second of all, we might actually connect up here, which would be nice. And we're probably going to build another frontier outpost over here, unless we uh, find something uh, colonizable. If so we'll have to see. Two Tomb Worlds and Tropical World. So, chances of finding anything up here are diminishing, to say the least. And we'll probably have to build some... Let's see, yeah, let's build a warp gate over here, although it's not where we have the outpost, which is kind of uh, annoying. Sometimes when I double click, I'm taken there, sometimes I'm not. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, as you can see, we haven't actually been in the system, but we were in the Cipolo system. And that was close enough for that we actually figured out that there was uh, an Arctic planet there. But we can we can actually uh, miss... Uh, you can actually set it or, or uh, see it as the wrong planet, which is a little bit uh, weird and annoying. But it could also mean that there, it is a continental world. We'll just have to wait and see. Hostile fleet engaged. We're going to get rid of those space amoebas. Large space organism. Situation log updated. And they're going to jump back to Van actually. I want you to jump to Max Prime. I wish I could set a home port for uh, these things. They would jump there every time, but sadly, I don't think that's possible. Or if it is, I haven't actually uh, figured out how. James Cook, where are you? Didn't I give you orders? Oh. What? What's going on right now? That no relocation. Oh, because there are ancient mining drones there. The fleet needs to just go straight there then. And... Let's see. I need to set you to non-evasive and just move you into orbit. The back fleet will arrive shortly to make uh, short use of any enemies. Complete. Kong C has completed its surface construction, which is decent. Um, let's just have you take over there. Let's just flip you two. There we go. Happiness is at 60%. Okay. Uh, because the relocation is a timed event, as you can see. Timeout is running close. So... These guys won't actually attack unless I launch an actual attack, so we're just going to send that fleet there. Complete. And now that they start to destroy them, it should go pretty quick. We can start the research project. And with that, we should be able to make it. We now have basic fighter and basic bomber wings that we can place on our ships. We can get an improved version of them right away, which I guess is good. 
But uh, we should probably focus on some rockets too, not just Hostile one thing. So we'll be doing that. Now, again, I'm just going to leave things as they are now, and we'll see how uh, things actually end up being. This is interesting. As you see here, the Max Pugs Republic just took a war on the Pirat Commonwealth. Now, the Mac, uh, Mac Pugs is people that we have been... Wild Storms and Asteroid Belt. Okay, interesting. Uh, I wanted to actually talk to you guys. So, we're still at 150, which means that we can't also join the Alliance because we're, no, uh, we're, at war. we're not at war with them, but they are at war. I'm tempted to grab three of their planets right now. Just grab all three of these while they are fighting on the uh, Western Front. Well, these grab... Potentially grab these three, even, and just set up a sector here. And potentially a second sector here once we conquer more. But uh, that was really not really why I started things again. We have found a continental planet down here. It's a decent area, although not too big. Uh, we will probably... As time as time passes, it will grow. So, worst case scenario, I can just chuck it into a sector of its own later. And it won't really be that good, but potentially I could use this as just a backwater. It's a huge one again. So... It's awkward in that respect, too. But basically, I could, in theory, just use it as a huge backwater uh, production area. Just use it as my hidden fleet base, because it's uh, kind of hard to approach. And just use that as a secondary fleet production facility. And I think I'm going to do that. I can hold five planets right now, of course, but... As you can see, there's text to upgrade that. So let's build a colony ship. It'll take a year and slap one more down there. We also got advanced combat roles. Planetary shield generator. I don't think we need that. We could upgrade our lasers though, get proton torpedoes, um, point defense, could be decent to have. Uh, I'm tempted to build in a couple of point defense uh, counter, sorry, a point, couple of count, uh, there, there. point defense uh, corvettes for counter mission against uh, uh, missiles, I'm very tempted to make that. And considering, but considering that we have her, who's uh, good on particles, well, I think we could just go for Proton torpedoes. They go through shields and just straight up murder things. So, so I think this on a couple of ships could definitely be helpful. So we'll go with that. Now the construction ships are sleeping, but we built the frontier outpost in uh, in Japan, which is good. And with that, we can build the research station. But I need to check. Yeah, we're also going to build a mining station for the uh, Batharian stone. Batharian stone, if you remember correctly gives us uh, a grand total of 6 power in its base state, but we can upgrade that to give us even more power, so it's a decent thing to upgrade too. Uh, and also here, the reason why we build it in the first place is the door, because we can uh, then watch this civilization. Now the thing with the civilization is that they will rise slowly but surely through time. They will become actual uh, nations that we will have to destroy and integrate or integrate, depending on what we decide to do. So, uh, it's going to be awkward either way. But we're going to colonize this, and we're going to do that next time. We are also working on our thing down here. We have the breed to pick up, and other things. But as I said, I'll figure out what happens when we uh, do that neck second relocation, or, sorry, another uh, piece of that neck uh, relocation, and see what we figure out. Isn't one of these guys working on... That one's working on the Dadnak. We find a micro-singularity intersected, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that, deflect, that defies our current scientific models. Further study is warranted. Research so, complete. we find a physics anomaly. Now, missile defense, missile module is set up. Fusion missiles we can go for. Space torpedoes. Hmm, they also go through shields. Interesting. Yes. Battleships. We are taking those. It's going to take a while, but with that, we can basically build any type of ship we want. And that's going to put us in the driver's seat for basically everything. Which is decently beautiful. Crew quarters, orbit. We don't need any orbit modifiers in the place. We just need to get the ship modifiers. So we're going to build a fleet academy. Have I gotten any new interesting things to build on surface? Replace with... Uh, let's see. Nope, no interesting things. Uh, again, we can store minerals, but we don't really have a need for that. We don't produce uh, enough minerals to make that happen. And if we produce any excess mineral, I'm just going to use them to uh, 
any excess mineral that we do produce, I was about to say, I'm just going to put that into uh, into production of uh, Special project Wow, complete. I'm stuck. Any excess mineral that we produce, I'm just going to put them into building the uh, the spaceports, upgrading those. Special project completed. Uh, we can hail them. Baldarak. So it's the exact same event it looks like. So if we uh, if we move them again, we might get a different outcome or something like that. But uh, I don't know. As you can see, uh, we're currently in Heza building a uh, another frontier outpost. So I'm going to just see how much that of an effect that has, and then we'll figure out what uh, happens from there on out. Let's just research the uh, the leftovers, if you will, and then we'll figure out what we do from there. But uh, this should actually lock down the southeastern part pretty pretty much, especially when the planet is built, because it should give us uh, control here. I don't expect them to go down here anyways. So the southeastern part should be completely locked down once we uh, build this outpost. And there we go. Decent size. We got Orem, we got Imdor, and we got these three sections too. So it's a, it's a decent one. Let's just build research stations and boom we are set so uh, yeah this is this one uh, what I probably should do also is I need to enter the hazard system not use you once you're done with those stations you're going to build a warm oh yeah just build it there it's a bad spot kind of but if our enemies are going to come from the west most likely then it will work just fine so uh, with that we're going to end it here thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye